What is up, my dudes? This is Yardbra, and you're tuning in to another episode of My Lawn. Okay, it looks like there's coffee in this one. Nice quad. 10 pumps, sugar free vanilla. Soy milk and oat milk to the top. <sighs> Coming! We're back. Good. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I don't want to step on the grass. So, it's looking nice. It's been raining, but you know what we got to do? We got to keep on watering, keeping it moist, keeping it moist. <laughs> I look like, uh, him the tool man Taylor's neighbor Wilson it's not raining now so I'm gonna mow the front after I get done with this but it should look pretty good love it whoops okay yeah backpack is looking nice I'm telling you once you start watering it's kind of like I really wish I had irrigation back here, <laughs> but it's all good. We got to do what we got to do. So as you are overseeding and, you know, your front lawn is already looking pretty decent, there's not much to do. So this is the fun time. This is the fun part. You get to mess around. So yes, I'm going to mess around with the sun, Joe, today, but I've been putting in these stripes with the... California trimmer and the swordman and they're wider way wider so a trick I used like back in the day was using flags I never showed that to you guys <laughs> this is literally practicing stripes I, I used to do this this is this is hilarious so if you want perfect stripes I'm telling you if you have guests coming over and you want the perfect stripe they're like dang how do you get it so straight well this is this is it you're gonna put some flags on the corner of the lawnmower once you hit the end here's the thing you have to have like a, a focus point because if you don't have a focus point it's gonna be going all willy-nilly but if you can focus on that and get your stripe down straight I'm telling you right now this helps so much so much it looks it looks it looks that much better I'm, I, I might have to do it for most of the mowers just to test it out and see how straight we can get I mean it's getting so straight you can see where we need to level coming up here for the overseed in the front I mean, look at that. there's a dip right there now in this dip right here you can definitely see it's dipping because there's a French drain in the garden bed yes it's in there, so the water just keeps draining there, and it's definitely taking away some of that soil, the sand, and it's creating that little, so I'm, I'm gonna go heavy when we overseed there. I'm gonna put a bunch of sand there. That's gonna be definitely good. But this right here, guys, this is something different. I haven't seen anyone else do this. You know, d just a little something I do, and then, you know, I, you know, I figured out, I forgot, you can just run the flags over pretty much, because they bounce back anyways. So once you start doing that, you can just run them over. You don't have to, you know, adjust. Like if you got a big old mower, just run it over. Pardon my ass. You, you, you'll, you'll find the orange focal point, you know. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that just happened with the sun gel. Look at that. The sun just went away just to show you all how sick these stripes are. You know, I was gonna mow with Sorty, but. There's no need because Sunjo just killed it with this perfect stripe package. Look at that. Perfect stripe pattern. Come on, Sunjo. You're killing the game. Another reason why I was doing this back in back in when I first started, I just didn't want to <laughs> seem like a loser. <laughs> Look at this idiot putting down flags. Well, it freaking works. Look at it. But another reason why is because when I'm on the other side of the lawn and the sun is hitting perfectly, you can't see where the line is. 
like it's blaring so much that it's like oh so you know in the summer this would be good to i'm not saying do this every time i mean if you got to you got to but for me i'm gonna start utilizing so you guys are gonna see this like actually quite a bit just to create some more perfect lines like i want to go diagonal from here you know what i mean i want to go diagonal get them the perfect diagonal lines with these stripes oh my gosh just wait just wait, and then we'll get sorted to do some patterns, maybe some wavy snake patterns. Come on. That seems fun. I wish this was bigger. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's so small, but hey, you got you to gotta work with what you got. Sheesh, Sanjo. Now, what sucks is you guys can't get it anymore. It's sold out. So your best bet, everyone keeps emailing me. Where do I get the Sun Joe yard, bro? Where do I get the Sun Joe? Well, Facebook Marketplace, maybe. Probably your best bet. But when we did that, when we did that roll, roll added, the added roller on both ends. I'm telling you, I sold so many of those front rollers on Amazon. So many. <laughs> you guys are the best. Free irrigation. Hello. <laughs> I can't do anything in the lawn anymore. It's freaking dumping. Shit. Nice little sunset view from the shed. <laughs> Just in case it rains. Guys, it's it's freezing. It's freezing and it's rainy and I just I'm cold. I'm I'm cold. Got to find something to do tomorrow. Today was today was fun. We did a little uh, Sun Joe action with the perfect stripes, if you will. But uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll find something. I got to edge and all that stuff. I got to maintain. I got to. I still have to molly call. I haven't molly called. So it's been like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So it's it's definitely time. But uh, okay, next clip to tomorrow okay had my coffee and it was delicious oh shoot I forgot my mic okay good let's add some root ruckus uh, we don't need hydrotane we need some iron we're gonna do the double blast of iron. Let's do some kelp and yucca. You know what? We don't need that because it's raining. Fish, let's do some fish. Fish furt. A little bit of tea necks because it's getting crazy out there. What else can we put in this monstrosity? Ooh. You can't forget the triple 18. Now, I am also going to add a couple different elements just to keep it fresh. That'll be in the next couple weeks for sure. So we're going to add some different elements. Stay tuned for that. Can't wait. Molly Coddle Mix is just going to be a nice recipe. And you want to keep on changing it up for the lawn just so you give it a little bit of variety. And then we'll go back and forth with different products that way. It keeps guessing, you know, it's just like, ooh, this is a nice meal, you know, because I can't eat chicken and broccoli every single day of my life, you know, you get sick of it. We got to, we got to give it a little buffet, little, little options, if you will, <laughs> couple options. So let's do it. Oh, this is going to be so good. It's not bad. I mean, we, we, we expected that he's going to run it over. Nothing we can do about that. Okay, so this is triple 18 in hot water. So it dissolves nice. About 12 ounces. And I know a lot of you guys are saying it clumps up with humic. And even on the website, it says it clumps up with humic. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't clump up for me. This is hot, hot water. This is not just tap water. This is like you're making some tea, hot water. Root ruckus. Root ruckus, four ounces. 
because it has uh, sea kelp and humic. So four ounces of this guy. What is that? Four ounces? That's four ounces. Go ahead and dump that right in. Oh gosh, it's so good. I always get excited for Molly Coddle mix. This is so fun. Delicious! A little bit of tea necks, a little tea sexy. I mean tea necks, tea nexy. Let's here we go. Just a dab. I mean, when I say just a dab, it's literally just. It's not even a splash. Look at that. That's how much tea necks I put in here. Just a tiny amount, and then all the other liquids will flush it out. Okay, so that's done. Let's put these away as we go. You're not supposed to apply, apply iron in the rain yard, bruh. Well, it's getting watered in, right? So it's all good. Two ounces. Actually, let's go three ounces of Lawn Star. Oops. No, let's go two, two and four. Because we want the iron, but we also want the deliciousness of the manganese and magnesium this is just iron and then shake it up <laughs> lawn supply green ore not bad stuff been using it for years like i said we're going to be switching up here in a little bit stay tuned for that let's just freaking coat it i mean some people don't like the iron look i love the iron look that matte, matte green, dark, almost midnight black. Delicious. Look at that. We are good for the iron. It's a lot of iron. Mm -hmm. You got to remember too, that iron is going to help with... That iron is going to help with a bunch of your moss that's still hanging around too. So definitely apply iron. This is fish fertilizer, AKA Patisse, AKA shake it up. <laughs> Truffle shuffle. Yeah. How many ounces do we do this? Four ounces. Ooh. Oh no, wait. Lawns, two ounces. Mmm, Patisse. Delicious. Patisse, Jufran, and all-purpose sauce. That all-purpose sauce, that'll sneak up on you. That's some good stuff. Not bad. Are we missing anything, my dudes? I say that's a pretty good molly coddle time. That looks like a delicious time right there for the lawn. Let's mix it up really well. Smells like my old aquariums. Miss that. Okay, that should be. Yeah, there's no clumping, guys. What do you mean clumping? I don't see any clumpage. It is all mixed in, nice and good. Look at that. So liquidy goodness. I mean, do you guys see any chunks? Look. Three gallons. We'll go. We'll move fast. Fishing. Yep. Oh. yep, definitely not trying to smell like Patisse. So, change of clothes. Wash these guys off. They've been all over the weeds. 
Okay. You guys ready? Uh-huh. You know what's crazy? That's raccoon action. That means rockets close by. Oh, that's exciting. Yep, look, that's raccoon action. That's so cool. I hope he stops by soon. I'm gonna start leaving some food again. That's definitely raccoon action. I've been waiting to I've been waiting to see that. I love it. Okay. Let's go to town. Looks like we need to verticut again. Just a little bit, just to let it breathe. It's getting kind of thick. Don't be scared of verticut. A lot of people do it monthly. We gonna do it monthly. One section at a time, because I keep forgetting if I could just go all the way getting old can't blame you for that <laughs> I gotta show you guys something in a second so there's nothing we can do about it because it's obviously not our property the back back the city workers have to drive through there there's no if ands or buts about it so they just drove the day. I wasn't here, but you can see the track marks. You know what I mean? So it's just something we have to live with and that's okay. You know, you know, he was super gentle with it cause there's no other track marks. He just took the same path, which is amazing. So respect on that. But if that doesn't grow, we'll just, We'll just add more seed. It's all good. That that we, we we expected that. You know what I mean? So let me knock out this section here. Yeah, this side's filling in really nice from the sanding. I wanted to hit that edge really hard because there's hella moss still. I mean a ton of moss still. I'm telling you, it's time for another verticut. You think I'm crazy, but that's a must, my dudes. We have to verticut. Got to keep up with this. It's that serious. Okay, let's finish off the bottle. Woo! You can already smell the fish. You can already smell the fish. Okay, so we just sprayed everything. I feel a lot better when I go out and molly coddle because I know the, the turf is getting nutrients. I love getting nutrients down. Every, like in the spring, like I said, every other week-ish, but then I put hydrotain down once a month. I put some wetting agent like yucca and kelp mixed together. That's a good wetting agent. And it works. I mean, it, it's working great for us. Then we just got to wait for this guy. You know what I mean? We just got to wait for the backpack, which is looking fantabulous. And like I said, I mean, I didn't get here in time and it's, it's a given. They're going to run it over. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. They have to mow the field. So, you know, it's all good. It's, it's going to grow. And if it doesn't, then we just get more seed and plant a little bit of seed where it's not growing. Simple, basic overseeding stuff. Keep seed on deck. So, but other than that, it's, uh, it's here. 
I mean, day three. Oh. No, there's no way. That has to be old grass. Yeah, there's no way. That's old grass. I thought there was a little bit of germination poking through. Not yet. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I don't know. It looks like a couple are popping up. I mean, in two weeks, we're looking at 70s. So uh, that's going to be exciting to look forward to. But other than that, guys, it's brisk. It's it's raining. It's cold as shit. Nipples are hard. Doink, doink, turkey's done. <laughs> think, think, turkey's done. Hella funny. <laughs> hella funny. Oh, hell no. Yeah, she looking good. She looking good. She looking good, good. All right, my dudes. Thanks for watching, seriously. It's so fun when you guys comment and watch. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I can just go out every day and just film what I'm doing in the lawn, you know? It doesn't have to be this entire event, you know? We out here. And I hope you guys are out there too. Just trying to do what you can with this weird weather and you know we'll find ways to do different things and we'll get it done stay tuned a lot of a lot of stuff like i said a lot of stuff coming your way look at that. i feel so much better with coffee isn't that nuts coffee just makes everything like legit so anywho kill the game we'll catch you in the next video Back it easy. Yeah, that's my line, bruh. We'll catch you in the next video. Back it easy.